I'm Lucy Edwards, Director of Client Success at VHT Studios, and I am with Jan Hackett today, Senior Managing Director of Corcoran South Florida at the Corcoran office in Palm Beach. Hi, Jan. Hi, Lucy. How are you? Thank you for coming up. It is uh, great to be here and would love to talk about uh, your company. It's, uh, you have such an, in, such an incredible, elegant, luxury brand. And I would like to start with the history of Corcoran, not just Corcoran, but also Corcoran in Florida. Terrific. Uh, so a little bit about the history of Corcoran in general. Uh, started by uh, Barbara Corcoran, uh, best known f now for uh, her appearance on Shark Tank. And um, that started in 1973. And it was primarily a company based out of, uh, out of New York, out of, out of Manhattan. And in two, the year 2000, she tapped Pam Liebman, who's the current CEO, uh, to, to, be, to run the company. And uh, subsequently, she came down in 2003 to Palm Beach, she purchased two very well-known luxury real estate brands here on the island, and in 2005 uh, purchased purchased another company in Delray, and uh, since that time we've grown exponentially here in this market, um, and uh, subsequently have opened two other offices in Miami and two other offices here uh, in Palm Beach County. So everyone started from Miami and uh, moved up. Yes. You had a different strategy and a very successful one when you started in Palm Beach and uh, transferred yourself to Miami. Yeah, and I think the uh, kind of the reason for that was uh, Pam's recognition early on that uh, there was a triangle of, of clientele going from Manhattan to the Hamptons and then to, to Palm Beach, although Certainly, they were going to Fort Lauderdale and Miami as well, mm -hmm. but Palm Beach has always had a, a bit of a, uh, a luster to it and, and to really uh, capture that very high-end luxury uh, clientele, uh, Palm Beach was the first, first choice. And uh, the brand played a huge role, I believe, in uh, you growing the business and growing it successfully. So sure. brand and reputation, uh, obviously everyone knows Barbara, but Barbara left the company quite some time ago, so so the uh, your agents, your your leadership, your management were producing that energy that the brand and reputation is so strong. Indeed, yes. I mean, um, Pam was uh, ha had spotted some very good talent early on, and um, and uh, actually, my mentor and uh, those who came before me did a fabulous job in um, planting a very um, tall and uh, pronounced flag here in this market and, and attracting, more importantly, the top talent that have, have made this brand so successful. And integrity, it's so important. Uh, and again, Corcoran uh, has so many values. What would you say the base and what's the integrity of Corcoran? Well, look, integrity is, is paramount to, to what we do as a company um, and how we run our business. Um, Look, each individual agent is is a business owner, effectively. So we, as as managers and as leadership, attempt to empower the the agents, if you will, with with the tools that that um, that this brand really speaks to, which is living who you are and and carrying on the mission statement of the company to. To, to be ethical, to be a, a step above, to be a cut above, and um, to, to bring that, um, that value to their business in the, in the way of an advisor rather than a real estate person looking to get to a closing table. And yeah. how you agents use all of the above, the reputation and the integrity, your brand, sure. uh, when they introduce themselves at the listing presentation or when they just... Uh, uh, talking to their friends and, and family, and they're so proud of being part of Corker. Yeah, well, I, look, I think that's a, a good question and something we talk about a lot. Um, you know, the brand elevates agents. Um, a lot of these agents um, can benefit from the, the momentum and the groundswell that the brand brings to their, to their business. Um, it, it gets us in the door. Um, it gets it gets agents in the door for listings. It it um, 
it speaks to um, the immediate, uh, how should I say, um, relevance of, of someone's business when they come to the table with a strong brand like the Corcoran Group. So based on everything we just discussed, mm. how uh, you are the best company in Palm Beach area, for example, or in South, or in South Florida, the competition is so strong, uh, you have strong brands around you, um, but you consider yourself as like one of the top brands for you to elevate yourself and to keep yourself at that level. Yeah, uh, look, at the end of the day, it really comes down to the agents. Um, you know, the agents um, are attracted to the brand. The brand helps push and promote their success. And uh, yes, we have been very, very successful in these coastal markets of, of, of Palm Beach County, throughout Palm Beach County, um, for several decades now. And, and we, we pride ourselves on that fact. Um, uh, we are... Uh, growing very quickly now, we're expanding into other markets, but the um, but but the brand supports the the success of the top producers. The top producers, in turn, uh, elevate the brand. And with lack of inventory uh, and and great competition around you, your agents uh, are able to flourish versus someone else who is struggling to survive. Uh, is that because you are providing great education, you are motivating them, you uh, keep your marketing uh, strategies in line? Uh, can we just talk about that? Yeah, sure. I mean, in this uh, very competitive real estate brokerage environment, um, you know, companies like Corcoran and others have really had to step up their game with respect to technology, innovation, and then reinvesting money in these tools that uh, that other companies are bringing to the table and we have done that very very successfully additionally i would say that the biggest benefit or value that the company and the brand brings to our agents is is really the the support that is provided to them through the marketing teams uh, the marketing team here locally uh, is a powerhouse and and i often say to the agents that is the value add that is what you should rely on to forward your business, grow your business, start your business, wherever they are in the, in the, you know, on the linear course of their business. If they look to the marketing team, they will provide them with a course and a, and a, a trajectory that will, will improve their business. And um, speaking about business and growing business, 2020 was a great shock for everybody. 2021, we kind of, we learned already quite a bit and now yeah. we are growing the business 2022 what would you say about the past quarter and what do you expect in the in the next two quarters yeah so uh, q1 2022 is very very strong um, we're coming off of a, a tremendous amount of momentum into q2 and it's been it's been a very good quarter for us although i anticipate as we um, kind of get back into the historical summer cycle. The last two summers have been very different for us because people have really stayed here. They haven't gone back to the Hamptons. They haven't gone back to New York. They haven't gone to their summer homes. I anticipate that this year is going to be different in the sense that people are going to start traveling again. And, um, and we may not see the type of activity that we've seen um, in the past two years. But Nevertheless, I'm still very optimistic that this market is going to um, to hold. Inventory would suggest that it is. Demand would suggest that it is. We still have a tremendous amount of demand, and um, and and I think that uh, Q two, three, and four are going to be really good for for 2022. And the, uh, well, with lack of inventory, you still have quite a few bidding wars. And not even just on a few million dollar houses, but like even a hundred million dollar house. Absolutely. I mean, it's interesting. We have seen several situations in the last couple months, even in the last month, where uh, buyers have found themselves in uh, bidding situations against other buyers at those very, very elevated levels uh, north of $50 million. So, you know, that's an indication to us that the that the wealthy um, top even less than 1% are, 
are coming from states like California, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, uh, and continuing to try and uh, become residents here in the state of Florida. What about international uh, buyers? Do you do you have quite a few? Is it mostly for Miami? You know, we, we still haven't seen a, a huge uptick in international buyers. Um, you know, uh, I don't even think that New York has seen an, a, a massive uptick in international buyers. I think that that is still to come. Um, certainly, you know, to my earlier point, I think that with, with travel restrictions now easing and people getting um, back into the mode of traveling more frequently, I think we'll probably see an uptick in international buyers. But these small micro markets here in Palm Beach County have historically not been huge um, international buyer markets like like Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Okay, that that's fair. Yeah, <laughs> but we welcome them. Right? <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yes. <laughs> um, Corker and Cares, such a beautiful organization, and uh, uh, you are investing in the community. Though it is, I understand, nationwide organization, so you're using, uh, so everyone is participating. Uh, can we talk about that? Sure. Yeah, Corcoran Cares is a 5013C that is um, headed by our, our, uh, on the corporate level of Corcoran. And uh, each individual region uh, on the corporate side, so uh, Manhattan and Brooklyn, uh, the Hamptons and South Florida, um, basically um, allow agents to invest in this uh, nonprofit. And then those, those funds that we collect on an annual basis go back directly into the nonprofits in our region that we've selected at the beginning of the year. So it's a great organization. No, it's, it's important to be part of the community. You know, they appreciate you and you appreciate them. Well, well and that's exactly really this, the, the mission of the company is to be a part of the community. And I think that is, uh, by and large, why we've been so successful as a, as a company. We have not tried to expand to the point where we are outgrowing our community. The community is why we're here. The community has made us successful, and we pride ourselves on being a, a very intricate part of the fabric of the communities that we're working within. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, John. Yeah. It was such a pleasure to spend time with you, and uh, you have an amazing company. Uh, I'm proud to be here and talk about uh, the success story of uh, South Florida Corcoran. So thank you for uh, for inviting me. Well, Lucy, it was, it was great to spend time with you and, and uh, I'm always happy to talk about the success of Corcoran. <laughs>